um, actually a miniature poodle. Um, they did a grooming demonstration with him this morning where they turned him from a poodle into a Portuguese water dog. Um, it was an hour long demonstration, so there's still some scissor work to finish up here. But um, in all honesty, um, I think I want to turn him back into a poodle. So we're going to take this um, nice gradual level underline um, and turn it back into a poodle tuck up. And the trick to doing that and having a nice clean tuck up, first things you need to do are find the front of the dog, which would be here, and then the back of the dog, which is here, and then find your center line, which would be right about there. So we're gonna kind of mark that line with our fingers or your comb or whichever you choose. And then now we know that that's where our tuck up should actually be. It should be a nice gradual line. That should be our highest point. So I'm gonna kind of just comb that hair back down in there. And then I'm gonna take my straight shears and go ahead and mark that spot that I set with my finger and make that nice and tight in there. And now I know that that's where my tuck up is gonna be. So then I'm gonna go back through and start at the back of the dog and kind of pick up that leg and scissor that nice clean angle in there right to that line that I marked. So again, we're going from a Portuguese water dog tuck up to back to a poodle. So he's been poodle, Portuguese water dog, now back to poodle. It's been a busy day for him. Okay, so I went back to my straight shears again, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, clean up that flank area a little bit, kind of angle that back in there and continue that nice clean line down into the underline. Okay, I'm gonna take my curves again and start setting in the rib cage. I'm actually gonna pull out a scissor spray here to kind of fluff this coat a little bit for me. And this is the Nature Specialty Hair Razor. And that helps me to pull out all those little hairs that might be hiding in there and give it a little bit more texture and a little more body while I'm scissoring. And again, curves can be used either way. You can flip them one way or the other depending on the angle that you need to set in there. And we're just cleaning up that flank area a little bit more. Continue that rib cage right up into your neckline. And we're gonna work on setting that top line in a little bit here. But that's really all there is to setting a nice clean tuck up. So we're all set.